Hi there and welcome to another Captain Forum tutorial. Based on the questions and feedback we receive through our support channel, uh, channels mainly live chat and email, we're going to be showing you uh, different areas of the, the plugin. Uh, lately we received uh, feedback related to our notifications area and we decided to make a small tutorial uh, showing you how to set it up. As you can see here, we have our standard notification, our standard event registration form, and let's just go ahead and go to notifications. You can do that by clicking on settings and then notifications. As you can see, it's split in two main areas, which is the form owner options, which is basically the settings related to the emails that you receive, and the form user options, where you set up how your how the people who fill out your form uh, see the emails they receive. In the first part, you're gonna have uh, the email recipient, where you set where you want your submissions to go at. Um, if you don't want, if you're a person who receives a lot of submissions and really don't want to get them to fill your inbox, uh, you can just set up a fake uh, email there, like let's say uh, no reply at no reply com, and uh, mm. submissions will be sent to your inbox. You can also send, you can also add multiple recipients depending on your plan uh, and set specific conditions to when you uh, to when they will receive those uh, emails for example uh, only when uh, let's say fruit and salad is selected is checked uh, then in that case you can set an email here like uh, michael at captainform.com and uh, michael will be receiving emails only when fruit salad is checked this is in case you have a big staff handling everything that, like an event and uh, each person is responsible for a specific part of the event. Mm. And under email header and content, you just uh, select and set up how you want uh, to see the email that you will be receiving. And from name, you can set uh, the name field from the form and it will appear as if the person who filled out the form sent you the email. Uh, from email, we recommend re uh, leaving your reply at captainform.com. Uh, uh, this is just display walls and it will not affect the functionality of your form. But if you select like the email field from the form, uh, it's possible that the person who uh, entered and filled the form uh, was marked as spam by somebody else in the past. So if marked as spam, uh, an email coming from them will be also marked as spam by your um, inbox and you might miss it. So that's why we recommend leaving new reply at captainform.com. From reply to email is uh, you select the email field from the form for example and if you want to reply to each uh, person uh, specifically um, that's how you do it the message subject is pretty basic and straightforward uh, we recommend setting like your form name or like a new registration was made And that's basically how you will see the emails that you receive uh, displayed. Uh, under you have email template, which basically you control what you see and what you don't see from the form. You can add any field or remove any field and arrange them however you want. You just click on create new template. And if you add a field, you just select the field here, like choose preferred food, you click on add, 
and it's gonna add it where you, wherever your cursor was. Like let's let's say we want to add it here instead. Okay, let's delete this one and then just add preferred food. Mm. That's gonna be sh uh, showing up in our submission in our inbox. Now here you have email footer, which basically gives you uh, information. Uh, about who submitted the form, like uh, an ent you have, you can add an entry ID, which helps you keep track of uh, how many submissions you have, um, and better filter them out and search for a specific uh, entry of your form. Add user information. It's going to tell you the IP, the country, and the browser of the person who filled out the form. And if available, you can add a refer, which is going to tell you basically uh, your users are coming from PDF options this is where you receive a PDF attachment of the entry made uh, on the form you can also use the form out for PDF attachments but for that you're gonna need uh, credits because we use a third-party uh, system to do that and we have to pay them um, for the use of that service to provide this feature. Uh, keep in mind that this is not something you pay towards us. It's just a feature we thought our users may enjoy and we have to use a different library for that. You can also send emails through your own SMTP server. We recommend you only use this in case uh, you're more advanced and familiar with networking and uh, SMTP servers. Um, you can add Google Analytics and start tracking your form. You can also uh, select this box to not show if a field uh, was not selected or filled out and uh, you don't want to make your email very crowded uh, it, it gives it a more clean aspect uh, also the same for do not show unselected checkboxes you can also have SMS notifications and this is exactly like the PDF options uh, we use a, a third-party library for this and each uh, SMS notification is going to cost you one credit. This is pretty much everything related to the settings of the email that you receive. Now let's look at the emails that your uh, users receive. And here we have uh, autoresponder. You can create a custom autoresponder and set a standard message, you can set the phone name, this is where they see um, who the email is coming from, so it's better that you uh, type in your, um, your own name or perhaps your business name, and from email you should type in your uh, business email or your personal email depending on how you use the form. You can customize the autoresponder and the message they see, like thank you for contacting us we will get back to you shortly this is the standard and default one uh, to make your own just hit create autoresponder and here you can give it a specific name if you want like uh, let's say autoresponder one and this will help you uh, not have to go through the same process with other forms you're just gonna have you you're just going to be able to select uh, the autoresponder here. As you can see, we already have a few um, already made. And you just select that autoresponder, and um, basically it cuts your work in half. Keep in mind that if you, each field has a specific ID, so you're going to have to replace these. Uh, these um, these fields from the autoresponder because you can select here uh, like hello person who entered uh, the registration form and just select the field from the top
stop. Click on add and it's going to appear right here. This is to help you personalize the autoresponder and uh, give it a more friendlier and uh, warm impression. Uh, that's about it with the autoresponder. You can also select when it's being sent, uh, like minutes, hours, days, weeks, or months after the form was filled out. You can also send a submission copy, which is basically you send uh, a copy of what they entered on the form. Exactly like the autoresponder settings, you can set a from name, which is usually your business or your personal name, and a from email which again is your business or personal email. And now you have the thank you page and redirect settings, which is after a person filled out the form, they will see a standard thank you page, which is gonna be either just some, some, some simple text, like uh, thank you for filling out our form, Or you can have, a, have them redirected to a specific page of your website. Um, we recommend you use in the print frame because people won't have ad blockers. And if you select new frame, uh, the browser might block the redirect. So we recommend selecting either in the parent or uh, same frame for that. Or you can show text and redirect them. You can show a report in case you make a quiz um, or perhaps um, a survey and then it's going to show you the report of that specific survey and everyone who filled it out. Uh, you can make a, you can add a HTML block in case you want to personalize it and make it a bit more complex um, and you can also redirect with custom variables. Uh, which is a little more advanced. Uh, if, if, for example, you have uh, another form which is pretty similar and you want to uh, fill, fill it out with the information they already entered on this form, then you're going to be able to set up uh, to type in here the link to that specific form and it will get uh, filled out and you also have the option to show quiz results which is in case you have a quiz as you can see i cannot select it right now because this is an event registration form and i have no points and correct uh, answers uh, assigned to it but if you do then the person who will fill out the form will be able to see the result and how they did on your quiz so that's basically the entire uh, notifications area as we got through it like in uh, 13 minutes uh, once you understand it and once you set it up a couple times it shouldn't take you less than uh, more than two minutes to to go through it all you don't even uh, always need the entire uh, section you sometimes just want to set up a few settings we're going to be making more tutorials like this one uh, if you want a specific tutorial or have specific questions related to an area, just email us to support at captainform.com and we're going to do our best to make a video for you or explain it uh, as a reply to that specific email in case it's not very requested. But if it's something that a lot of users request, obviously we're going to we're going to make a tutorial for it. Thank you and have a great time building forms.